Yes, the tiny human brains that we grow from stem cells are sentient, and this was demonstrated when we immersed them in what seems to be the literal matrix when we had them play video games. And how do we compel them to solve our problems for us? We'll talk about it. If you're not familiar with them, yes, we can grow tiny human brains using stem cells, and we can even attach them to computers and make them do computation. Or play Pong. Our brains run on electricity. This means that we can hook up the tiny human brains to a computer chip, and we can map their reactions and then send feedback to let them know they're doing a good job. We can do this in two ways. You send ordered signals to encourage them to keep doing what they're doing, or you can send disordered signals, which causes them a degree of discomfort. We can also dose them with dopamine when they're doing a good job, making them literally addicted to doing our computation. Kind of a similar process to when you're scrolling through this app and you see something you like and you get a little jolt of dopamine. But how are they sentient? Well, when they were immersed in Pong World, it was demonstrated that they were able to receive feedback, have experiences, which is one of the requirements for sentience, and then they were able to respond. And those that were given a task to do developed more complex, more reinforced neural signals than those that weren't. If you want to watch them learn and grow, you can hop over to Final Spark's website where they let you observe the tiny human brains that were sold as a computation subscription model grow and develop. You can watch their brainwaves become more complex over time as they learn to do a job. If you have the question if we've created a new class of unpaid laborers, yeah, kinda.